Boo hi everybody! Okay, so school is coming up and everybody's going all cray cray about it. What's going to happen? Are they gonna bully me? Do they have pads? Just in case I'm on my period? Yes, I will be answering all your questions. Except maybe the last one. Yeah. So personally, I'm going to be a junior next year. AKA, the higher classmate. But I was all on your shoes one time. Whoa, that was two years ago. But anyways, I remember freshman year when I just came here from another state. And guess what? Whoa. But yes, I moved again. So technically, I am a freshman all over again. Wah. <sighs> yes, I am once again a high school fetus. Okay guys, so here is 20 tips on how to survive your first two years in high school. Number one. High school sucks. Number two, bullies don't really exist. Well, at least not in my school. No one really throws someone against the locker and lifts them up and takes their money and runs away like a little <laughs> No, bullies don't really exist. Like, not the physical kinds, of course. Number three, basically the upperclassmen, aka mostly the juniors, on the very first day, I can bet you right now they will go. Oh my god, why are all these freshmen in my way? These freshmen are so annoying! Why are all these freshmen in my way? Can you please get out of my way, please? Just kidding, I don't say please to peasants. And all I have to say to that is ignore it, you will get used to it. Number four, not all upperclassmen are jerks, so if you are lost, ask for directions and ask for help. Hi, um, excuse me, um, do you know where this class is? Yeah, I know where that is. Go straight to W, make a left turn to K building, and then go straight on to C building. Your destination will be on your right. Uh, thank you. Number five, don't start any drama with anybody. You have four more years in high school. Don't add fuel to that fire. Number six, volunteer as early as you can. I haven't done my volunteer hours and literally I have to spend two of my years, two of the last years, I can be out socializing. Just kidding, I don't socialize, I'm having friends. Number seven, kiss up to all the really cool teachers. Usually the cool teachers are the ones that pick favorites. They're the ones who accidentally give the right answers to their favorite or accidentally gives the person that they like full credit on their missing word or accidentally let that person go to the bathroom without taking their bathroom pass or accidentally okay back you we get it number eight freshman year is so easy don't take it for granted guys sophomore year will get harder sophomore year is probably one of the hardest years ever and junior year is basically suicide and senior year is Pretty chill. I'm not a senior, but a lot of seniors say that it's a pretty chill, depending on what classes you take, of course. So yeah, don't take your freshman year for granted. Number nine, this means join clubs. Number ten, maybe even start up your own club. Colleges will really like it if you start a club through freshman year, or you join a club even, and you stick to it until you're senior. Number eleven, make the right friends. Do I really have to tell you that? Who am I, your mother? Number twelve. Popularity is so irrelevant. Make five friends and you guys can form your own cliques. Because basically you can form a circle with six people. Stick to your own clique. Don't try to be popular. But number 13, basically if you have Starbucks, you have an iPhone, you wear Hollister, Paxson, and Gilly Hicks, and like, um, you, were, you had a really pretty face, I guess you could be considered as the cool clique. But like, cool? Coolness is so dumb and like nobody pays attention to popularity when they're out of high school. You can go out of high school being the nerd and come out as like the editor-in-chief of like a magazine or like become a CEO in like a business or something. If you're a freshman and you bring coffee to school, you will get judged because freshman year is honestly not that hard guys. You guys don't need to pull all-nighters to study. I see all these freshmen, like literally on the second day of school, they will bring, they will come to school, bring coffee. Like no, don't bring coffee. 
Like the first day of school, you guys did syllabus. And you're like, bring coffee or what? Please don't bring coffee, Christian. Number 15, don't be one of those people with the big ass backpack. The hell? You guys going camping? No, I'm not going to camping, Stella. This is my backpack. I think I'm gonna keep this belt. It makes me look like a stripper. But anyways, so yeah. Don't bring so much stuff to school with you. Bring paper, a binder, two pencils, a pen, an eraser, a water bottle, and that's it. And food. And that's it. Don't bring so much stuff, guys. I repeat, don't bring so much stuff. You don't need them. People that has like a binder for each subject and even gym. Who are you? Can you can the door's right there. Leave. Leave. Go. Don't bring so much stuff. Okay. I'm just kidding. You guys can come. You can come back. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. 16. For pep rallies, freshmen, you will get food. So be prepared for that. And sophomores, you guys are okay. You guys are part of the family now. You guys are cool. 17. Do a sport. You guys are lower class and it is really not that busy. Maybe sophomore year a little bit, just just a little bit more. But yeah, do a sport. It looks good on college applications and like it will really help you make friends and it will, like in clicks all the sports hang out together. Like all the footballs, all the baseballs, all the cheerleaders, they all hang out with each other. Like well most of them do. Even if you're gonna major in like computers or some technical nerdy stuff. Sports will help you. It shows how versatile you are and how you could do other things besides what you're majoring in. Do you get me? Number 18! Relationships are so irrelevant and dumb. Yeah, you should go experiment and like, so like when you're actually older and you guys are ready to date, you guys pretty much know. But to be honest, I don't know the statistics on high school marriage or high school lovers and the marriage rate for that so but I'm assuming it's pretty low because half of the couples in high school will break up within like two months or three months but yeah but there are those people that last all senior year and then break up because you guys will be drifted off to different schools so yes relationships aren't really that good for school focus on your studies Focus on getting good grades, focus on your extracurricular activities. Number 19, bring food galore. You will be in school for 8 hours and you will get hungry, so bring food. Okay, so for my last tip for number 20 is of course, have fun. Just kidding, high school sucks and I promise you, it will be over soon. Okay guys, so that's it. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys give this a big thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. I will be posting videos every single week now, even after I go to back to school. So remember, it's all good in the neighborhood.